What's up YouTube? My name is Nathaniel Green and welcome to King Badoja's Effects. Today I have a powerful tutorial for beginners. I'll be showing you how to animate your 3D objects in Element 3D using After Effects. Let's get started. First of all, we want to open up a new composition. Check your settings. In my case, everything's okay. Now you want to go to Layer, New, Solid. I'm going to name mine Element 3D. Okay. After that, you want to go to Effects, Video Copilot, Element, and click on Scene Setup, and go over here where it says Model Browser, choose your folder where your model is. Mine's in Icons, and I'm going to be using the Air Raptor today. Yes, that looks pretty badass, I think. Now, this is optional can change your default lights. We have dramatic, cinema, stylized, and the list go on. I think red looks pretty mean and pretty clean. So I'm going to be using this. So let me hit OK. After that, the light's not on there, the default light. So I'm going to go to render settings right here where it says lighting and right next to where it says add lighting you want to go where it says none I'm gonna click on that red and that change the look you can also go to color corrections and um, change your look there if you like it's up to you what you want to do with the look of your model but anyway now let's go to group one and before we go any further let's add in our scene so I'm using a just a picture I found on Google that I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to add that. You can also add a video. Whatever you like. And drop that underneath element. And let's stretch that out so it can fit. Bring up the resolution. Alright. That looks pretty nice so far. Now let's get ready to have fun. Now, back over here in group one, you want to click the check right next where it says particle replicator. And the tools that we'll be using today, I'm not going to overwhelm you. We'll only be using position X, Y, and what that do is basically move your, your model side to side. This one moves it up and down. Or you can just grab this little circle right here and place your model anywhere you like. Um, we also have position Z. Basically, what this do is bring the vehicle or your model um, towards the camera and away from the camera. Now, underneath rotation, check that. And um, this here is the X. Basically, what this one do is kind of tilt your model. The Y spins it. And right here where it says Z, that flips the model. Now once you got that, those are the only tools. So see, it's going to keep it basic and simple. Those are the only tools we'll be working with. Now what I'm going to do is basically have this flying about right here and then leave the scene. That's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go to this. I want to kind of draw it back a little bit draw my vehicle well I keep saying vehicle I mean my model I want to take it back okay into that Z space okay that looks pretty good and let's let the animating begin so now I'm gonna start activating the keyframes Now, when it gets to about right here, four seconds, I want my model to be right here, and it's going to be beginning to turn. 
so you can see it's more than just a JPEG it's a 3D model now when it gets to this the full eight seconds I will have it leaving the scene now we can play that back now this will play a little slow because this is full resolution if you want to watch your preview and it will move a lot smoother you have to lower the resolution which you click to a quarter you can choose which resolution I'll choose a quarter the lowest and it'll play a lot faster so you can see the preview uh, if you like just to give you you know taste of what it might look like I should have it tilt too give it a little bit let's have it tilt and let's move it right here so right here it's gonna begin to tilt so right here the X is the tilting action Hold on. Let's tilt just a bit not too much let's give it a slight tilt so let's bring it back I didn't really see too much tilt. Let's tilt it a little bit more. Okay. Well, that looked a little ugly, but I'm not trying to make any movies right now and win any Oscar awards. I'm just basically trying to show you how you can mess with the little tools and, um, and that's how you can animate your 3D model. Well, that's pretty much it. Let's play this in full resolution. It's going to still play a little slower. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can animate your 3D models in Element 3D using After Effects. Well, my name is Nathaniel Green, and I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.